Hey guys, it's Kree, and today we are going to be modifying this here pleather jacket. I've had this jacket for about uh, almost five years now, and it has seen better days. It's starting to mess up just on the sleeves of the jacket and a little bit on the neck around where the back of your neck is. But um, I'm going to go ahead and be fixing up at least most of that. And I wanted to kind of upcycle this jacket so that way I can use it for much longer because I love this jacket. So yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing today. I hope you guys enjoy watching and let's go ahead and get started. For this jacket, we are going to be doing a Frankenstein horror movie theme. So I found this patch on eBay. It used to be part of a t-shirt. It came in a solid green color and I just went ahead and painted Frankenstein and the Bride white. I just felt like it would give it a good pop of color to the design and I think it came out pretty good. but. Yeah, if you want to replicate this patch for yourself, that is how I did it. I will leave a link to the seller down below in the description if you are interested in that. Uh, all I'm doing right now is pinning down the patch where I want it onto the jacket, and that is dead center in the back, just because that's how much I love this patch. And it's perfect size for that, so. Um, but I may be leaving the safety pins down here because... I don't know, I just love the way they look on jackets and anything like very grungy or like dark. I feel like these are very good like decorative pieces. But I'm going to go ahead and sew these down later on. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and start like pinning everything where I want it first. Now the rest of the patches I'm going to be putting on this jacket were entirely painted by hand. The designs were made by myself. Um, the first set of patches say it's a perfect night for mystery and horror. The air itself is filled with monsters. I really love this quote. I got it off of the Bride of Frankenstein movie when you watched the very beginning of it. I just love that quote. Even though every day is a perfect day for mystery and horror, I love this quote anyway. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pin all of these down where a majority of the fring is on the arms just so I can hide that a little and hopefully forget that it's even there. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I'm going to be doing for now. I'll show you the next few patches once I have these down ideally where I want them. I kind of want them going straight so it's kind of a struggle because the way that the jacket is, it's just it's hard to find the center unless I mark it while I'm wearing it, and I was a little too lazy to do that, but it sure makes it easier if you mark it where you want it while it's on you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Now that the right side is pinned down exactly where I want all the patches at, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the left side. And this first patch I'm putting on there says, beware for I am fearless and therefore powerful. I loved this quote from Mary Shelley's book and I just thought it would be perfect for this jacket. So yeah, it's still a little bit wet. I do recommend waiting just so that it doesn't get messy or spread to other parts of the jacket where you don't really want the paint at. But I'm just pinning it down as flat as possible and letting it air dry as I go. Now I am putting the sleeves together just for reference. I kind of want a little bit of symmetry even though the Patches are different sizes from each other. I just at least want them to start in the same area as each other if that makes sense But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pin this down And the second patch that I'm putting on the left side is of a human heart outline And the reason why I'm putting that one on this jacket and the whole why it has anything to do with Frankenstein is because the human heart is the most complex and it was giving the scientist or Dr. Frankenstein a hard time when he was trying to bring the bride to life. I think it was, I think it was both. I'm not sure. I forgot. But <laughs> it was giving him complications when he was trying to further his experiments. So I don't know. I felt like it was good symbolism to put onto this jacket. And I also wanted some more little drawings and, you know, designs onto this jacket. So... Yeah, that's why that one's going to be on there, in case you were curious. And once everything I want on the jacket is pinned down and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and sew that up. 
and we're gonna move on to the next part. Uh, you don't have to sew everything down. You can just put a bunch of safety pins if you want. A lot of pugs have done that in their day. So I, I've definitely seen people do that before, but I'm gonna just sew everything down just real quick, just to secure it on there without having to worry about safety pins falling off. I might just leave the safety pins on there anyway though. You never know. All right, now we're gonna be painting directly onto the jacket material. And I like to do a little bit of a Sharpie outline before I start painting anything, just so I know like my boundaries for myself. But if you make any mistakes with the Sharpie, you can just go over that with some Clinique makeup remover. That stuff works so amazingly. Just a quick tip from me. But once I like the outline, I'm gonna go ahead and just start painting. And I've already gotten a few questions as to why I put We Belong Dead under this romantic looking depiction of the couple, but if you haven't seen the Bride of Frankenstein movie, just watch it. I highly recommend watching it. And this coat has a lot to do with the relationship between the two, in the beginning at least. Uh, pop culture has really displayed them as a romantic couple, when in the beginning they weren't always like that. But yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of a stitch design border underneath it. And I just really liked stitched looking details. And now I'm doing a little bit of a stripey detail on the sides of the giant patch. Now you can use some painter's tape if you want an exact like neatness or exact spaces in between each white stripe. But I'm just going by eye here. Now I'm going to go ahead and let all the paint dry and we'll work on the next step. So I did paint a moon on the right sleeve and a spider web onto the left sleeve like on the elbows, but the camera died while I was recording. So I just wanted to mention those little details I added. Sorry about that. And now we're going to go ahead and work on the front. Since I really love that aspect of the moto jackets with the flap like uh, colors. All I'm going to do is put some emphasis on that and just do like a little bit of a outline type of line. And then also I love the little details of these zippers and the way they were positioned so I'm going to go ahead and paint on that as well. Just put a little bit of emphasis, give it a little bit of a pop. And once the paint dries, we're going to add just some little details. I have all these buttons that I've had just accumulated over the past years. And they're all Halloween related, so I felt like they would be perfect for this jacket. But all I'm going to do is pin that wherever I want them, particularly on the collar flap of the moto jacket. Just to give it a, a little more detail. Now I do want to get more pins to put onto this jacket. I never really had a place to put them on before, so I wasn't really putting too much effort into searching for some pins, but I really love the way these ones look, especially the little eyeball. But yeah, <laughs> so I'm just going to be adding more and more as time goes. And once all of the pins are fastened and arranged how I want them, now I'm going to put some further emphasis on the little collar section and put in a bunch of screw-in spikes. This is the most tedious part of the whole project and this little tool is used for leather hole punches and it makes it supposedly it's supposed to make it easier. I found it more tedious and it took longer time. It was hard for me to get like perfect uh, distances between all of these spikes. So I would just recommend using the tool that looks like a needle for this project. But yeah, now I'm just adding some spikes to the shoulders on the sleeves and then we will be done with the front side.
All right, so now that the jacket is spiked up in the front, we're gonna work on the back. Now, all I'm gonna be doing is adding some spikes to the open spaces around the giant patch. Uh, and I'm sorry that we've been having a lot of location changes in this video. I've just been back and forth other like to different houses throughout this week. But yeah, and the lighting sucks because this house doesn't have any good lamps, so sorry. But basically that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to finish up on adding the spikes and then I will show you guys the finished product. Uh, and I'm also watching all the Frankenstein movies again just to give this project more atmosphere. And it's definitely good to watch like a good movie or something while you're doing this because it is very time consuming and it does get really boring after a while. All right, so since you guys can't see what, exactly what I'm doing here, I'm going to move into better lighting and show you the final result of the back of the jacket. So here it is. I really love the added detail that the spikes give, and especially in the sunlight, it looks really cool. But yeah, so we are done with this jacket. I'll show you how it looks on. All right, so here is the final product of our modifications. I really love the way it turned out. I feel like everything is in the right place. It's all perfect. But I hope you guys like this modification video. Let me know down below if you want to see more in the future. And subscribe if you'd like to be informed for my next videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!